Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Crimes That Bind, a Japanese murder mystery from 2018. Now, two detectives, played by Hiroshi Abe and Junpei Mitsubata, investigate a case in which a woman is strangled to death in an apartment and the owner has gone missing, but there is no seeming connection between the two. The investigation then becomes even more muddled and difficult to solve because a different murder may be connected to the strangling, as well as a beautiful theater director played by Nanako Matsushima, who has a history with one of the detectives. So this, this is going to get complicated here. Now there are two big positives of the crimes that bind, the script writing and the performances. Now in regard to the script, this showcases a very detailed investigation. You know, with proficient detectives who work through many complications in an attempt to not only identify the murderer, but also that person's motives. So each revelation, I think, flows quite naturally, and the ultimate explanation is incredibly nuanced and almost impossible to predict. I found this aspect of the film to be very absorbing right from the start. You know, the script really does not waste much time because new clues are consistently discovered. This is one of those films that requires your undivided attention and will make you think while watching it. If you get, you know, distracted by text messages or, or your kids are running around, you will miss something. <laughs> You'll miss something. So in regard to performances, everyone is good in this. Hiroshi Abe is fantastic, as usual. He plays a character who could, could be dull if someone else were cast in this role, but Abe has just so much charisma and quiet intensity that I enjoyed following him on his quest for the truth in this case. On a side note, he does play the same character that he did in the uh, Shinzen, Mo, uh, Shinzen Mano television series and the Wings of the Kirin film, as well as other related projects. But you can watch The Crimes That Bind with no knowledge of those titles because this film really operates as a separate standalone film and story. The other standout performance is Nanako Matsushima, who is most well known for her lead role in Ring from 1998. The Crimes That Bind is one of her more interesting roles in recent years that I've seen, and is also one of the best performances I've seen from her. There are a few scenes where Abe questions her about the murders, and her mannerisms are just, just top-notch. She's really good in this. The themes of family and parental love are heavily developed and drive the film. I found that aspect to be effective. Also, some of the camera work is quite good as well. There are some wide shots that I thought were very visually impactful. Now, in terms of flaws or potential flaws, it is a bit difficult to keep track of the relationships and events that are covered by the investigation. That's primarily due to the precise script writing, which I previously mentioned to be a positive quality of the film. But again, the relationships between these people that the cops are investigating are muddled and they change as new facts begin to come in. So it's sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track of like, you know, of what exactly is going on. So it will take multiple viewings, I think, to understand every little detail here. Which could frustrate some viewers, but I liked it because it made me think quite a bit while I was watching it. There are no chase sequences or thriller moments in this, which, you know, could be a problem for some people. Don't go in expecting that. The big problem that I had with this movie, though, is the score. There are times where the music just kind of overpowers the scene. Uh, there are a few dramatic moments that become overdramatic because of the overwhelming score that's used over them. So, for example, you know, there are two scenes during the latter half of the film. One takes place in a tunnel and the other in like a woodland area that probably would have worked better with minimal music or no music at all. You know what I mean? So sometimes I do think the, the score and music were just kind of, it was like, too in your face about how you're supposed to feel during those scenes. I mean, thankfully, there are only a small handful of scenes where that becomes a problem, and much of the film has a nice, even tone, but, you know, the, those melodramatic scenes do kind of stick out, I think. But overall, I think that The Crimes That Bind offers a nicely executed mystery that's interesting to watch. It is currently available on Region 3 DVD with subtitles. And as always, we'll see you next time.